Hey guys, have you ever felt a big twinge of jealousy when you watch your aerosol, you know, spray can artists go along and they're over there laying their graffiti out and they're able to go light on top of dark, you know, with ease? And I can tell you, yes, I have felt those, felt that jealousy. As a matter of fact, use some cans myself. So... Createx has the new Wicked Opaques out, and today that's what we're going to talk about. And I've been testing these a lot, so I have painted a whole lot of panels with these. Um, not going to get any crazy art today, but I want to go over some things about it. And so what you're going to see here, I have a completely, you know, mirror to shine aluminum panel, coated aluminum panel. It's completely mirrored to shine. No prep work to it all, other than wiping the grease off it. Only an idiot would paint on, you know, that smooth surface without prepping it. I'm the guy for that job. Okay, so I've got this, uh, you know, really cool stencil. Anyway, and what I'm going to do is tape it on there. I'm going to paint through these holes. And the reason I'm going to do that is because we're going to test the adhesion on this very glossy surface of the Wicked Opaques. I got my Iwata Eclipse. I've got one of the brand new bottles of Wicked Opaques that I got all crazy dirty. And we're going to put Wicked Opaque straight into my airbrush. I've got the pressure set at about 20-25 PSI. And I'm going straight out of the bottle and I'm going to fill these half tones in. Did I say 25 PSI straight out of the bottle? A lot of clips? Yes, I did. We'll get more into that in a moment. So I've got the first pass. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of passes. Since these are small holes. So I'm going to let that dry for a couple of minutes. We'll at least give it a little bit of a chance, right? Since we're doing so many things wrong, let's at least let it dry before we start testing the heating properties. But just to show you guys, and I might get in the way of the cameras, kind of in my way. I got to kind of stand off to the side. But this is straight out of the bottle. And it is flowing through my clips straight out of the bottle. I'm going to move so I can I wouldn't want to do any real fine detail with it at that but uh, actually I talked to Dennis over at Createx. I had another question for him. We'll skip right there. Had a question for him, and he told me to try it straight out of the bottle at 25 PSI, and I said, no way. And uh, who knew? The guy who designed the paint um, knew a little bit more about it than the rest of us. Okay, so I got my little dots. I haven't let this dry nearly as long as I should, a couple minutes. Um, so I know it's not going to have any abrasion resistance yet because it hadn't been that long. But, so what we're going to do, we're going to do everything wrong we can possibly do wrong. I am taking regular masking tape. This is much stickier, much, much stickier tape than what is automotive tape. So, the reason I did dots is because if you were to do a crosshatch test, it's you, you want a lot of places for the paint to try to pull up to test the durability the more edges you have, the more likelihood that you will have the paint will pull up. And let's try that again. As you can see, those remain on. 
So what that's doing is testing the adhesion between the panel and the paint, which is, that is excellent. That is a very, very good adhesion. And I didn't even prop, prep the panel properly. You should sand this panel down and clean it before you start painting on it. I'm making a worst case scenario. And you should be using an automotive tape that's not so sticky. If you guys go painting on a panel that you haven't prepped and the paint comes off, well, don't call and tell me about it. Also, did you notice? Those two coats, red, over the top of black. Don't know how often you've painted red on top of other colors, but uh, yeah, that's, that's really good coverage. And we're gonna get more into that and some of the implications of what those opaques will be able to do for us. So we're still on our glossy panel and that's all I'm gonna be painting on today. Um, but I want to show you guys how quickly this covers and the implications. Have you, if you've ever done, I'm going a little bit slow, but uh, say I wanted to do fire, and I'm not going to today. But say I wanted to do fire, and I wanted to build up that background layer for that glowy. Effect. Usually that takes really, really long. And uh, in this case, you know, as you can see, I get coverage right away. And that has implications for real fire uh, that I don't think anybody's really touched in too much yet. So now I have pulled out the Thalo Blue, have it turned up my pressure. I did, um, I actually got my Badger Omni out. Um, so I didn't want to change color in that. And show you guys how I can get coverage with that blue as well. And there's a reason I'm using this blue. Now that Thalo Blue is pretty dark. And it's actually showing up pretty heavy on your screen. And you see how that coverage of that blue is going right over that. Even though it's a very dark color. Now, I didn't buy the blue they have, so I've mixed my phthalo blue with some white. And... I'm trying to do any kind of detail work right now. And I'll put a little cloudy. It's just uh, show you the implications for neon effect. Now I have added more white to my blue. trying to stay out of the way of the camera so if my arms are a little shaky um, you have to forgive me I'm standing behind my camera trying to paint and I probably should have used a little bit more blue so let me go back to that darker blue real quick all right I don't like this red in here because it's just making things ugly I'm gonna go with that, that darker blue Blue right over the red. Probably still a little blue in my cup. It's a little bit dirty, I'm sure. So this is probably going to come out a little bit green. But we're going to put yellow straight in the cup. And say I missed something. I wanted a piece of neon or up front. I wanted something to come over the top of it. And just... I 
hog out. I'm gonna fog this out just a little bit. Added a little bit white to it. Now let's try even more. If you ever try to put yellow, we'll do straight yellow and see how the yellow covers it. So, Where we add just a little bit of white to it. Now, how about this one? Orange. Everything I'm doing is in real time, guys. I wanted to fog that out. I did add a little bit of reducer so that the white would mix with the orange usually enough. And of course, you knew if the red could cover the black, Get a little bit of that fuzzy action going. If the red could cover the black, it could absolutely cover the rest of the stuff too. Of course, I added a little bit of white to that. Again. Not being too straight because, well, it's kind of hard to be straight when you're uh, walking off the side of the camera. Don't run off yet, but I am going to do one more color. I'll show you how that blue can come right back over top of all that. That's my lighter blue. Now I've got mostly white in here. Let's hit that. How well does the white lay on top of it? This is straight out of the bottle, guys. Okay, so far, in all of this, I'm going to ask you, where's the blue shift? If you hadn't noticed, you get a little bit on the edges of this white right here. Alright, so if you understand where blue shift comes from, you'll understand why these opaques can help... Um, make the blue shift less. This is literally spray can performance in an airbrush paint. And I cannot, I'm not sponsored guys. Y'all know that. I don't take, I don't have any sponsorships. Maybe one day. I don't know. But this is spray can like performance from an airbrush ready paint that I'm I'm spraying right out of the bottle. Right now I regret the fact that I didn't get every color that it is uh, in. So now I'm going to have to order again and I hate to make another order because well I like to get free shipping. I don't have any links for you guys today. Um, 
for this, so you'll have to check with your suppliers. Obviously, Coast Airbrush or Spray Gunner in the United States, I would expect that Donna over at Maple Airbrush Supply in Canada has it. Can't help you guys out in the other countries just yet. Uh, but yeah, so I have nothing to make off of this. I have nothing to earn from promoting this product. Um, but they are absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. The coverage is amazing. And this has just been done for a couple minutes, guys. It's just been done for, for minutes. And here I am on a panel that's not been prepped. And I'm actually going to reuse this panel. So what I'm going to do is clean it off and remove that, sand this panel down and use it. Because, well, I don't want to just throw away my panels. We can do another tape test. And I still haven't pulled anything off. Uh, yeah, almost no blue shift. Tell me what else you guys want to know about on this. So if you have made it this far in this video, guys, I appreciate you coming by. I am Bill Kennedy with W. Leon Artistry. And please, 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 please leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or you have any comments. Let me know what you think. If you tried out the opaques, let me know. I'm going to do some more stuff with this. I'm going to do some. I got some really cool ideas coming up. I also have been playing with these extensively, and I have been dealing with some special effects creations with this particular paint, which is why I happened to call Dennis from Createx, and you know he kind of talked to me about a couple of things, and you know so. I have some really cool stuff I got planned with this stuff, and hopefully I'm going to get you guys some tutorials out. I've been really busy, and I'm still trying to get myself ready to go out of town. Tamco Takeover, first week of May. If you're not able to make the Tamco Takeover, you guys should make the Airbrush Art Circus in Florida. Get to one of those events if you can. It is going to be an awesome time. I'm going to be at the Tamco Takeover, and that you can find information about on the community tab on my page. But uh, I appreciate you guys stopping in, and make sure you hit the subscribe button if it's your first time here. Got a lot of stuff, and more stuff coming out. Once again, I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one. Bye.